Hello everybody, this is Sparhawk, and welcome to my insane rambling time. So, the reason why, mostly the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm probably only going to get up one episode, maybe two this week. This is the first week since I've started my Persona 4 Let's Play that I've actually gotten less than three episodes up in a week. Um, it's unfortunate, my schedule is absolutely insane. Uh, they're working me to death at work. Um, I am going to the gym almost every night, and that's kicking my ass, so basically, like, it's, I'm just, I'm just falling behind, but hopefully this weekend, I won't be working that much, um, actually, I won't be working at all, uh, so hopefully I will be able to catch up this Sunday and get more episodes out, very sorry, guys, I try my absolute hardest to keep on a decent schedule, but, you know, shit happens, right? Anyway, you know, while I'm doing this, I might as well, uh, you know, talk about myself. I don't really do that very much in my episodes, uh, because mostly, you know, things are going on, and I don't want to drag down the episodes, uh, with useless information, so, um, go ahead and just stop listening to this if you care absolutely nothing about me, and you just want to watch Persona 4. Um, and I, I have no problem with that. I, I do not blame you. I live a very boring life. So, um, a, a little background, uh, I am, first off, I, I'm 31. I'm an old man, pretty much. Um, and of course, Back in the day, I started playing video games. Uh, I have vague memories of playing the Atari. Uh, we did have one when I was growing up, but very, very few memories with that. I was very, very young. Uh, most of my memories started up with the Sega Master System. Um, I had I had that instead of a Nintendo. I was a Sega kid, and uh, I remember playing all sorts of games. I played Fantasy Star, of course. That's like my first, my first real RPG. I was so young and stupid back then that I really didn't know what I was doing for the most part. Um, I, I did beat the game eventually. I think I had to call, like, the Sega helpline to finish it. I think I got stuck somewhere near the end going through a tower, and there was a part that I just, I didn't understand what to do. But anyway, god, this is, be prepared for plenty of rambling. So, I played Fantasy Star, I played, like, Zillion, I played, of course, uh, the next generation, I played lots of Sonic the Hedgehog. I love Sonic 2. That game's fucking awesome. I love Sonic 2, and oddly enough, I loved miles per hour. That's that's the the, the three-tailed fox, two-tailed. Oh my god, I can't believe I don't remember. Um, the one that could fly with his tail. So he was my favorite character. Uh, I didn't even like Sonic that much. I don't know why, but you know whatever. Um, so I was definitely a Sega kid, and eventually I got a Super Nintendo, and I was introduced to Final Fantasy IV, um, Final Fantasy II in the United States, and then uh, eventually I played Final Fantasy VI, and that's whenever my true love of RPGs, uh, you know, manifested, and then I played Chrono Trigger, and that just cemented it, man. Chrono Trigger was, like, the best fucking RPG ever, um, at least from my childhood, uh, but still, I mean, I, I say that, but Final Fantasy VI, man, I had, like, a Final Fantasy VI shirt, I had a poster, I had a hat, man, I fucking loved that game, I played the shit out of it, and I didn't actually... I did eventually own it, but at the beginning, probably the first several months of playing it, I rented it from uh, the local video store, we call it Pop and Go, uh, Pop and Go Video, and uh, man, I, I remember playing it so much, I got to the arena, and I'd gotten a whole bunch of rename cards, and before I finally gave the game back, after holding on to it for months, my parents were super, pi super pissed that there was this huge late fee. Uh, I went up, I went ahead and renamed all my saves, and I just renamed it, this game is easy. So the next person who finally picked up that game would see all my, my super cool saves, I felt like a badass. But, uh, you know, that's what kids do, stupid stuff. So, that's kind of my history, uh, whenever I was growing up with video games. And after that, I didn't get a PlayStation for quite a while, um, I, I didn't really grow up in the probably the richest family. We were probably lower middle class. My, my parents really put a lot of money into, um, you know, video games for me because I fucking loved them. I absolutely loved them. Uh, I'm trying to... Oh, another game I played. Just fond memories of my Sega Genesis era was um, Altered Beast. Rise from your grave. That nonsense. Um, and uh, Aladdin. Aladdin, if you've never played Aladdin for the Sega Genesis, you are missing out. It was a different game than it was on the Super Nintendo, and it was awesome. The music sucked. I mean, let, let's let's be honest here. For the most part, the Sega Genesis did not have a very good um, audio system or, or MIDI, whatever. 
Um, the music was okay, but what really shined was actually the animation of the game uh, and the levels. There was one level I remember just absolutely, actually I played it here, here recently, and I remember the second I got to this level, I was like, oh fuck, this is the level, it's horrible! And that's the Cave of Wonders, whenever you're trying to uh, jump along on these different ledges. And God, what a horrible game. I died, like, up to that point, you couldn't really die unless you were hit a whole bunch. And that level, you just fell to your death all the time, like instant death. So all the lives that you'd saved up and you felt like a badass at that point, you might as well just spend them all. And probably restart the game several times until you finally get used to that level. It's still brutal to this day. I tried it like a week ago. Fucking awful. Alright, so, um, I played a lot of Mario Paint too. I think that's why my parents originally got me a Super Nintendo, was because I was, you know, it was kind of a creative outlet. Um, <laughs> if you played Mario Paint, like, you gotta be super creative to actually make anything good. Especially with that music player, man, that thing was a piece of shit. But I've seen some crazy stuff on YouTube of, that people have made. But, uh, let's see here, let's move on. Um, I remember walking like three miles to and back from the uh, video game store from pop and go video and renting a 3do and the 3do was a piece of shit like that was not a very good system but back in the day i was like this is the coolest thing ever it was totally worth it um let's see here i think eventually started renting a playstation one and uh i think i think i actually started I got a job, and that's whenever I finally bought my own, was able to start buying my own stuff. So I bought a PlayStation 1, uh, which brought me into that era. Oh, I also had an N64. My parents bought me the N64, and uh, I played a whole bunch of Mario 64, Mario Kart 64. I loved Mario Kart 64. I also loved um, Mario Kart, the original Super Nintendo. But man, Mario Kart 64, I played the shit out of that game. Oh man, I played so much Mario Kart 64. Um, me and some friends, uh, actually, they're the ones that helped me out with uh, some of my Persona 4 videos. Uh, Silver Age Scientist, Blackbeard, and uh, Run, 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 we were all playing on emulator and uh, trying to do uh, some networking on it. And we were all playing uh, Mario Kart 64, and I whooped their asses. Uh, apparently, I haven't lost my edge in that game, or they just all sucked. Well, no, whatever, it's cool. Uh, but I really loved Mario Kart 64. Um, Trying to remember what other games I really enjoyed on the NC. Oh man, Star Fox. Love Star Fox. It's an awesome game. And Bomberman. I played a lot of those. A lot, a lot of multiplayer with my friends. We'd sit in the basement. Um, of course, GoldenEye 64. Fucking awesome. Man, that was a that was a good era. I can't believe I almost skipped the N64 era. Um, I think that era kind of sucked for RPGs. And then once I finally got my own PlayStation One. I started picking up more RPGs. I played uh, Xenogears. I played uh, oh wow, there's so many. Uh, of course, Final Fantasy VII. I played uh, man, Grandia. I missed some really good ones too because I got into the PlayStation One era a little late, and then the PlayStation Two came along and I played a, a lot of RPGs. And you know, I really that's where my heart truly lies is with RPGs, especially the JRPG variety. Um, there was about four or five years where I just couldn't stand grinding. And that was probably when I was between 20 and 25. And I kind of let up on those and I started playing other stuff. I really got into Counter-Strike. I bought my own computer. And, uh, you know, finally got a computer that was good enough to run just about anything I threw at it. So I played a lot of, uh, a lot of games like, of course, like I said, Counter-Strike. And uh, I ended up playing a lot of uh, MMORPGs. I played a lot of MMOs. I, of course, I was in the World of Warcraft. I was into uh, Shadowbane. I love Shadowbane. That was a great game. Uh, awesome, awesome multiplayer or um, a PvP in that game. And uh, let's see here. Oh, sorry. I tried like Age of Conan. I tried all sorts of MMOs, but nothing really stuck. I think the longest I've ever played an MMO was probably World of Warcraft. I, I mean, I managed a year before I felt like it was just consuming my life. And uh, I think I played Final Fantasy XIV for about a year. And I was a, uh, a guild leader in that, and that felt like it was consuming my life. That that really felt like it was draining like my life energy from my body, it was just sucking my soul away. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll never do uh, a leadership position in an MMO ever again. I just want to be a stupid grunt, tell me what to do, that's cool with me. Uh, leadership of people that I've met online, man, 
I don't know, I just get sick of dealing with people. <laughs> they just end up pissing me off and I always try to be fair and uh, basically I try to be a nice leader and I need to, I need to rule with, with both respect and fear. I doubt I'll ever do that again, but anyway, um, that's kind of my background with video games nowadays. Uh, I'm, I'm just so busy, I barely get to play anything I really want to. Uh, I got into Persona 4 a couple of years ago. Uh, I believe I first watched a, uh, a Let's Play of it, which is actually called an Endurance Run. And that was, if you if you really like Persona 4 and you ever want to watch the game again, you know, for, of course, you know, watch my, watch my series, please, please. But if you ever want to watch the game again, but only with more fun commentary and less game focused, I would highly recommend the Giant Bomb Endurance Run. You can go to GiantBomb.com and go into their dur Endurance Run section. They, those guys are fucking awesome. They are absolutely awesome. I love the Giant Bomb guys. I love uh, Ryan, uh, Jeff Gerstman, uh, Vinny Caravella. Those two do an awesome job with the endurance run for Persona 4. I fucking love that game. They gave me the first fond memories of Persona 4. Uh, they also have a Chrono Trigger endurance run, and that's with Patrick and Ryan. Uh, Patrick Klepek and Ryan... Uh, ooh, I don't remember his last name. But uh, those two do a really great job of Chrono Trigger. Now, don't watch that one unless you want to be frustrated. If you played Chrono Trigger before, you'll be frustrated because two, those two guys don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, so it's mostly a fun run. Don't expect too much in the gameplay department. But I really enjoyed both of those series by them. Uh, so by all means, you should check them out. They are just fucking awesome. I love Giant Bomb. That's where I go from all my, all my gaming news. Just a great website. They do great, great quick looks. Um, God, I don't even know how to how I segue into this. I am just rambling all, all sorts of nonsense here. Um, what else can I talk about here? Uh, no, I did, I did play Persona 4 first before I played Persona 3, and I went back after I beat Persona 4 and uh, started playing Persona 3, and I did that one mostly blind. I looked up some of the answers for, uh, for some of the quests. I guess quest um, for some of the social links, but that game uh, I've only played through once, and I'm probably gonna play through it one more time. And depending on how Persona 4 goes and where I'm at in my life and how busy I am, I may pick up Persona 3 after Persona 4. If I'm done with this let's play, um, I will probably put up a poll or try to get all the viewers' uh, opinions on, on what I should do next. There is a JRPG that just came out here recently, and that's called Nino Kuni. Kunai? I'm not really sure how to pronounce the last part, uh, but I've been considering doing my own endurance run of that, doing it blind. Uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about doing another blind LP. Some of my older content I have on the site, it was it's almost all blind and it's not very good. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot of confidence uh, whether I can do a blind LP commentary very well. So um, I, I'm like my older content. Anything before. Probably my Let's Play of Persona 4 and my uh, quirky Minecraft series. Anything before that that I did, like uh, Mass Effect 3 or Skyrim, I'm not very proud of those. Those were me learning how to record, how to edit, and how to do commentary. And those were all blind and they weren't very good. So I'm, I'm kind of wary of doing another blind LP. But uh, if you guys really want me to and you want to see the game, by all means, please let me know. Leave a comment, uh, send me a personal message. Uh, you know, whatever, um, and, and just let me know. Uh, let's see here, what else? Um, I guess I could talk a little bit about like what I've done for like a career. Um, I started off, like my first real job was actually building, I built computers for a company, it was almost like a sweatshop. I built lots and lots of these really shitty computers that were being sold uh, to the state of Missouri. Uh, and they were they were just absolutely awful. Like, you know, I like to take pride in my work, um, and I I think my Persona 4 series shows that. Now, whenever I was making these computers, like they were just piles of shit. Like these things were terrible. They used the cheapest parts, and it really showed in the final uh, final product. So I was not very happy with that job. But I ended up building like well over a thousand computers, and that really got me into building computers. And of course, I built my own before that. Uh, had built my own ever since then, and that was probably like when I was 19 or 20. Um, that was my first real job before that. Like I worked at Target, um, I did a couple of other things. So, uh, and then after that, I ended up working for a bank. 
that was an interesting job. Uh, it was unfortunately a little too social for me. Uh, I, I'm a computer nerd. I deserve to be, or I, <laughs> I want to be behind a desk and not talk to anybody. You know, um, that, 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 that job actually gave me a lot of social skills and kind of set me up for my next job. I actually worked there for like nine years and then I ended up getting laid off because of all sorts of nonsense. Like it was, I'm sure you guys know there was a fiscal crisis a couple of years ago and a lot of banks started going down. Mine was one of them. Uh, so that really sucked. I worked for a bank that was taken over by the FDIC and then bought out by another bank and then it all, it was just a mess. So I ended up losing my job and I was unemployed for four months and during my unemployment, uh, that's actually whenever I started my uh, Let's Play Persona 4 and since then I've gotten a new job and I now work, uh, ooh, should I even talk about who I work for? Yeah, why, why not? I work for IBM and, uh, won't go into details when I do for them, but it's, it's IT work, uh, and I really enjoy it. Like, it's really awesome. I've worked there for three months, and I am really, really loving it. Unfortunately, it has some really weird hours, and it's taking more than just 40 hours a week. So, that's kind of, that kind of sucks. Um, on top of that, I decided to get in shape, and uh, I joined a gym, and I tried to lose a little bit of weight. And that has been taking up a lot of my evenings, and that's between those two things, all the overtime I'm doing and the odd hours and going to the gym and I've, I've met all these new people and I'm going out all the time, it's like, it's killing my, my free time to do Let's Plays, and uh, I'm really struggling to, to manage my time properly. So I hope that I will get my shit together. Now unfortunately these dungeon, uh, dungeons that I, that I do are far more time consuming in regular episodes, so it just kind of all hit at once, and that's why it's taking so long to get these episodes out. So, moving on, um, what else to talk about? I'm not sure if there's anything else I can talk about. If you guys have any questions about, you know, any games that I played, what are my, one of my favorites, uh, by all means, leave a comment, and I will answer. And holy shit, I'm at like the 17 minute mark right now. I have rambled for quite some time. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm very sorry there isn't a, uh, very many episodes this week. And I will try my hardest to do better next week. So anyway, thank you very much for listening to my rambling. And uh, leave a comment. Uh, and let me know what you think of these videos. Or, uh, it's not really a video. It's more like just a, a commentary by me of Curtis's life. That's my first name, Curtis. So, um... Yeah, anyway, just leave a comment, and I will talk to you guys later.